what is good everybody welcome to this video if you're looking at the title and you are here for the recent news that's been coming on uh <laughs> cam newton is getting a good bit of the the thought bots out here the film fatales in an uproar and i know the manosphere are going to have a blast i haven't been on youtube yet but they're gonna have a blast with what cam newton said and they're gonna go all the way in on modern women I don't like to use that terminology, but <laughs> the video that everybody is, well, I won't say everybody, but these femme fatales and these thought bots are in an uproar about is about something that he said on uh, Gilly's podcast with Wallow. And let's just watch it. Perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm -hmm. My parents has been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm not bad. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. People are in an uproar about this particular video. And I, I fail to understand what he said that was in the wrong People are taking what he said out of context, and it's it's mind boggling to me, personally. And because this is just now coming to the forefront, I don't know what is going to be said even more because I've only found a few videos here and there of black women who had had an issue with what he had to say. Exhibit A. You and your little SpongeBob square headed ass friend over there making these podcast appearances to talk about black women you can't even lead your team to victory and got the nerve to tell black women what to do oh you in your trifling ugly ass fashions need to sit all the way the down cameron now with this particular woman i don't know what he said that was disrespectful to black women he didn't even emphasize black women. He just said the difference between a bad bee and a woman. And I, and I don't understand that because he was raised up in a functional household because he's seen his mother and father build a functional and a proper relationship being together for over 30 years. And he wants to have what his parents have. Y'all have an issue with that. Do, do y'all not hear yourselves? This man was raised up in a functional household with a mother and a father and his grandfather. They inspired him to become the, the, the inspirational and the successful athlete that he is today. And he wants to have that foundation like his mother and father have. And y'all have an issue with that. He wants a woman that, that not only will stand by his side, but will know when to be quiet. Won't, won't be out here talking uh, you know, out of the side of her neck, trying to come at him sideways. Somebody that can cook for him, somebody that can that can care for his family and his and his kids. Y'all have an issue with that. For an example, in the in the fact that she took this the the, the this is exhibit B, but the fact that this woman that I'm about to show you took this the way that she did is frightening. Let's have a look. Newton's interview, and if you didn't see it, here's the gist: uh, you can only be a bad or a true woman. If you fulfill a man's needs, okay, um, let them speak, so, or, uh, and or, uh, you let them lead, okay? Fair enough. Uh, no, not fair enough. It's 2022, babe. Wake up. Also, 
you've got me met est up. If you think I am doing things for a grown ass man that he is fully capable of doing himself. I married a man, not a baby. Thank you very much. I will be a great wife someday. Believe that. But I am not at your every beck and call. You know why? Because I'm living my own life too, babe. Period. So you have women out here who when they hear one thing, they hear another. <laughs> when you say one thing, they hear another. When a man tells a woman that he wants somebody that can cook, clean, understand him, be there for him, and just know when to be quiet and not over talk, all of a sudden you're hearing be a slave. All of a sudden you're hearing be a servant. All of a sudden you feel limited. And these women who have an issue with what Cam Newton said were not raised up in functional households. <laughs> They saw their, their single mother struggle. And most likely they have this attitude towards men and towards being in a relationship from their mother, from their grandmother. Even this goes, this goes generations upon generations because a lot of these women are in generational curses. It's the type of women that will quote Cardi B. I don't cook. I don't clean, but let me tell you, I got this ring and we'll see Cardi B out here cooking and cleaning for offset who cheated on her multiple times. But she still plays her role as the housewife. And these are the women that y'all that y'all are taking up for. City girls telling y'all. These, these women are, are, are in relationships, getting men, caring for their men. Megan the Stallion started the whole hot girl summer. Out there was, was, was treating her man like, like the best thing on earth. These, these people in, in the industry are fooling you. They're puppets, but they're fooling you. They're pawns. They push this narrative to have you turn against your own men. And now you are here looking stupid, stupid. And for the men and women who are watching this video, I highly encourage you before I go, I highly encourage you to listen to Shahrazad Ali. I have her book, how to understand the black woman. It's a beautiful book and it breaks down the dynamic between the black man and the black woman. And it also talks about the basis of what is emotionally and traumatically and, and spiritually going on with the black woman or, or dealing with uh, some of these women out here who just don't know a good man is in their presence. They don't know how to let a man lead. They don't know how to submit to a man. He talks about the mouth of a woman, you know, tears down men constantly, not only tears down the men, but tears down sons, tears down grandsons and so on and so forth. You have a powerful voice. You, you are the being the divine feminine, you have this power about you, this Kali power, this chaos power, but you utilize it in the wrong way. You want to utilize this Kali and this chaotic energy to be a bad bee, a crazy bee, you know, cutting the man's tires out and, 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 and fighting women in the streets and, and, and trying to get, get him on, on child support and, and ruining his, his chances of getting another job and so on and so forth. You know, you, you utilize your energy in the wrong way, tearing him down verbally, talking about how he ain't this and he ain't that, and, and talking about his manhood. You, you, you utilize the energy in the wrong way. Why do you feel the type of way that Cam Newton said that he wants a woman that can cook, clean, and knows when to keep her mouth shut? That shows your dysfunction alone for you to even find the issue in that. There's a lot of black women out here who dress are so used to trauma and so used to abuse and so used to dysfunction that when a man says that he wants something good and wants something proper, they have an issue with it automatically. So many women are so used to dysfunctional relationships and most of them were brought up in broken households that they don't know how to respond to when a man wants something good, when a good man wants something good. You have an issue with it because you can't meet those standards. And some of y'all can't, but some of y'all just have such an ego that y'all let y'all ego get in the way of something good. And that's why you end up being miserable. And it's beyond me. Anyways, share your thoughts concerning the whole matters at hand in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am... Squad